I'm Kimberly, and I'm here to talk to you today about workplace safety and in particular manual handling. Over 50% of injuries in the workplace happen while completing manual tasks. If you use the correct procedures during tasks that involve manual handling or anything that requires you to lift, push, pull or carry something, you greatly reduce the chances of injury. We need to manage any hazards through consideration of our posture, movement and the environment to create a safer workplace. To do this, take a step back and be aware of every task at hand every time. Put simply, we need to identify potential hazards and take steps to fix them. All of us working on the floor need to ensure our own health and safety by talking about any risks and finding solutions to reduce the risks. Lifting and carrying is part of life from childhood. In fact, as children, lifting and carrying comes naturally. As adults, we're often told how to lift and hold correctly. It's drilled into us, but still we find that bad lifting techniques is a major cause of workplace injuries. As carers, it's second nature to us to provide comfort to children, and this includes cuddles and picking children up. The best practice for lifting is stand comfortably with your feet shoulder width apart for a stable base. Lower yourself into a semi-squat position, bending at the knees. In this stance, your legs have the greatest strength to do most of the work. Hold the child as close to your body as possible while standing and tighten your stomach muscles without holding your breath. Maintain the spine in its natural curves. To move while holding a child, turn by pivoting your feet. Do not twist your body. To lower the child, continue to bend the knees with the child positioned close to your body. If children need to be comforted, the best practice is to get down to their level to save your back, especially for children in the older groups of junior kindy upwards. For children that can walk but aren't toilet trained, we need to support them to use the stairs for change time to minimise the amount of time we need to perform a lift. During meal times and while working with children at a table, make sure you are at their level to avoid leaning excessively forward. Repeatedly leaning forward can cause stress to your lower back. Remember, if you need help with something, all you need to do is ask. At Sesame Lane, we promote a culture of teamwork. All educators and staff are required to complete online manual handling annually to ensure we stay up to date with current practices and to ensure childcare manual handling awareness is always front of mind. Stretching for a few minutes before and after work or during a break can reduce the risk of injury to your back. It can also improve energy levels and flexibility. Workplace safety is an ongoing practice. Just because it's safe today doesn't mean it's safe tomorrow. So we need to continue to assess our environment for risks and take steps to fix them. Educators are in the best position to identify risks, so make sure if you see something, speak up. Help us to innovate the solutions to make our workplace at Sesame Lane a safe place to work, play and learn.